Hello, I'm Sinulazi April for RCT. Today we are at Arista Primary School in Kales River to speak to a young gentleman who is making waves and doing amazing things for his community. Sitin Jacobs is a barber who gives free haircuts to schoolboys. He has become a role model and a beacon of hope for the community of Sarepta. We're going to speak to him and find out more about what he does. Stay tuned. I was raised by a single mother, parent, and uh, it's either you're going to get involved in drugs or you're going to sell alcohol to the people. And yeah, I just changed my life then and I'm glad. I've been doing this for three, four months now. And um, as me grew up here in Kozara was a um, very disadvantaged area. And um, it's just uh, inspiring these kids and just uh, motivate these kids. Uh, in the morning when I get in my car and I drive and I just see these kids and these kids see me and just how they scream at me and shout at me and they keep me motivated. It's been a blessing, it's been amazing, it's been wonderful. Uh, there's nothing but progress going in their lives and so yeah, it's been amazing, yeah. It's, it's very good. Um, I'm going to start the uh, end of this month with the first uh, soup kitchen and most of these kids are going to be involved there. So they're going to be um, handing out the, the soup for the kids. Uh, so yeah. Hi, I'm Francho van Beek. I'm principal at Terrestar Primary School for the last three years. The barber told me, Seaton told me he wants to be involved with the community, especially the outreach. And he asked me how could he contribute uh, in the right of him being a barber, I call him a professional barber, I told him about some learners, they can't afford a haircut, some learners come to school, they belong uh, to our outreach team, food, etc. Some learners don't even have proper clothing, so then he decided he will first to the first 20 learners each month. Okay. But the criteria is either the mother or father don't have an income. Mm. Now the impact on the community, as I'm talking about the school community, is as follows. These learners have a self-pride now. Mm. They're proud of themselves. They look like learners attending a school. And the impact is that those learners who were ill-disciplined in class, mm -hmm. they became model learners. Oh, the community is very happy and uh, it's just the feedback I, I get from them and the teachers. Um, they say uh, as we started with them now, um, their uh, behavior in class and um, their work uh, did improve. Yeah. 